Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. And I can't figure out what's wrong with my Met troops, so I'm just going to keep going and assume that there's nothing wrong with them and send a nice little extraction squad for this mission. So launch the mission already. We are um, confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring an extra unit with me. And I don't see why I would not want that unit to be a support. I have an extra an extra run and gunner in the wings, but I've lost both Ron McGunsky and Chuck Norris now. What else could I want? I have a heavy, a good heavy. I could use another heavy. Do I have another heavy? No, I do not. I have support, support, and sniper. So let's go with support here. I'm going to make items available real, really quickly here. And you can be edited, so you have a loadout that includes a laser rifle and a laser pistol and carapace armor and let's give you an alien grenade seems like a good plan to me oops I almost forgot I have new types of weapons I can build and not much money to build them with so let's um go ahead and visit the gray market here and sell more alien alloys until I have enough money I, I know this is a lot of time just to sell alien alloys but not much I can do about it really um, I could sell a power source or a couple flight computers, which might not be a bad idea. And let's sell all the way up to 60 here. There we go, complete transaction. Got some decent money now. Build, buy items. I should get a decent factory rebate on this, actually. So let's go weapons, flashbang, reaper, respiratory, needle grenade, laser rifle, laser pistol. Laser sniper rifle is what I want. And scatter laser? Oh yeah, and the shotgun laser. I can get it now. So I want to manufacture two of these. And one of these laser scatter lasers. These laser scatter lasers say lasers. And then see if I can get this. How much damage these do now. Send extraction squad. Launch mission. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. I look forward to seeing my progress too. This sounds like it's going to be a fun time with these laser sniper rifles. These laser, laser snipper riffles as I often like to say. I sometimes like to snipper riffle in my spare time. Either way, mission be launching. Oh, the mission it be a launching. A lawn chair mission. Ever since I was a young boy, I was a lawn chair. So this will give me more intel on where the exalt unit is one. not. Which is a good thing. We detected an exalt cell based in Canada. It looks like our operative will need assistance in securing the enemy data. Okay. So, uh, this is another securing enemy data time. I'm not sure if it's the one where I have to hang out inside a small area. If it is, if I can get my whole team inside that area, it becomes rather easy. One of our covert operatives was nearly successful in hacking a series of exalt com relays when enemy forces moved into the area. If we're going to have any chance of recovering that data, we'll need Strike One to provide protection while the operative finishes hacking the remaining arrays. If we lose the operative, we won't be able to recover the intel. Objectives updated. Okay, so that's um actually a fairly tough objective. I cannot. I can jump onto the roof, but I can't move very much further than that. Let's jump onto the roof anyways and throw a couple way. um what's it called's out. You know what I mean, right? These things, battle scanners. Right there should do the trick, I battle think. Scanners up. I'm not sure if it's gonna like hover in midair. Oh yeah, it's gonna hover in midair. Oh, it was just on the roof. Well, that was a failure. Either way, I think that most people should probably head as far into here as possible. Whoa. In order to kind of meet up with the um with our covert unit. Just in case. Just in case. But remember how fast the covert unit can actually move. It's really quite useful. We have exalt it's units to our right here. And only two relays to hack. Which I do Order appreciate. Confirmed. And I also appreciate that this whole area is fairly safe. Let's just dash everybody as far forward as possible now. They should all be safe there. Well, 
yes, I would like to move somebody else, but I, I think I'd rather move my Warning. my current units. This actually makes me kind of nervous. I don't like that there's so many buildings Confirm. in between us, in between the exalt unit or our covert unit and our main our main force. So let's see what I can do. There could be exalt units in there. Uh, okay, let's go Down into here. Ball. I'm going to take the gamble that there are no exalt units inside this little room. There are no exalt units inside that little room. Thank fucking Christ checks for that. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do now is get behind some cover here, I think. Just so I can be invisible. Concealed, that is. And kind of check out the live land. Can you open doors? Seemingly not. Yeah, yeah. How about you just burst through here instead? Holy hell! All the exalt units. My God. Okay. Um. That that's definitely a lot of exalt units. Venga, en marcha. I should have probably seen that coming. 65, 79, 62. How about this guy here? Can I get a pretty good chance of killing him. Let's do it. Six damage. That leaves him with two left. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can sneak a rocket in anywhere that would do enough damage to really be worth it. What I can do is use you to get like over here and just punch a guy. I'm on my way. Seems like it might be a good idea. So how about you just like kinetic strike over Moving here? In for the kill. Lovely. Then that's what I can do. I can actually open up this door here on the move. and kind of go for a nice little flank. Should be able to get a nice hit it hidden right here. Unfortunately, no hit, but I only need two I damage. So I could probably get it with just a pistol. 85% chance to hit. Up to... Yeah! Dead. Fire in the hole. Dead and gone. On the move. Now, where are the extra exalt agents? There's one around that corner. There's one on that roof. I am most concerned about... I don't know what I'm most concerned about. Probably dying. I'm going to be completely honest. The one on the roof, because I can hit it. I can hit him, I guess Incoming. I should say. They, they are people, even though they're exalt agents. Just because they're exalt agents doesn't mean they're monsters. So I'm actually going to stay in here this turn. I can capture them. Holy hell! I can capture exalt units! So let's just overwatch for now. He's inside, he's safe, let's overwatch. Really? You're, you're gonna go for that? Even though he's within the field? They're within the field? I guess they're within the field because they have the... Oh, whatever. I'm going to ignore everything I was saying. Only three units to kill, huh? And two of them are now on the roof. I can probably fire in a nice rocket there or get an explosive ready. Get everybody in the explosives together. As to, as to, fucking, they have medkits? They have goddamn medkits? I don't like that at all. I don't like that one bit. But what I can do now is try to capture one of these fuckers. Have a 100% chance to hit you. Let's instead go with a sniper rifle. 100% chance to hit. 80% chance to crit and lots of damage. Let's go 100% chance to crit. And go for the auto kill. See you in hell. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, indeed. Indubitably. 
You have 196. Let's go 100. And 90% chance of crit. Lovely. Now, if only... If only I could get this last guy with a good hit or two. Got I it. don't think I can, though. Hmm. No, just an overwatch. Can I Moving. see him if I go over here and then shoot? Ah. There is an extra guy hiding behind there. Sixty-one percent chance there, but if I move you to right here, I can just punch you in the face if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Big tank brain is gonna hit you in the face. Big tank brain's coming, and there's gonna kick your ass. Is gonna kick your ass. He's gonna kick your ass. Big tank brain's coming, and he's gonna kick your ass. Cause you've always been a rotten little brat. I like that. Unfortunately, no hit on that last hit. <laughs> my my um covert unit's just being a fucking coward. But let's get a smoke grenade in here. Hopefully, this will cause them to miss everything. Lovely. And then I can probably just go behind full Getting cover here. Location. We have an operative in position to begin the hack, Commander. We just have to activate the relay to acquire the data. Our operative decrypted some of the Exalt data and temporarily disrupted their communications. That ought to slow them down. Now Lovely. We just need to find and hack the remaining relays. Done. Well, done next turn anyways. So let's let Exalt go now. They can probably manage. Zhang gets to take a reaction shot, which unfortunately misses because, you know, heavy from a long distance. And the target is now back on the ground, which is actually great for me. Commander, we're detecting new contacts moving towards Strike One's current position. Okay. They're in the sky. They have six health and seven health. I can probably hit them all with a rocket. Zhang, this is your time to shine. Why is, why is this not working? Why? You'd think this would hit several. Ah, there we go. Right there. Launching. That's exactly where you want to sneak it in. 6, 6, and 6. That be the number of the beast, motherfucker. Can have an 87% chance of hitting this guy up here. That equals a kill. And let's see if I can capture one of these guys for interrogation. Okay, first you need to hack, and then you need to get up there to capture. Aren't you gonna hack this thing? Oh, this is not a real relay. The other, the only other real relay is over there. So I guess you go here. Ten four. That was dashing. Oh fuck. Moving to position. Oh damn. I guess I go for the pistol shot here for the kill. X-ray neutralized. Really wanted to see what would happen if I got a capture in there. Disappointing. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, I really wish I had specked out one of my snipers as close range. Would have been so nice. That's affirmative. And I can probably just run all the way over here with this mech and make sure that this area is covered and safe. Like, let's go into this corner. I know I'm taking up heavy cover with a mech, but I'm not sure why. I'm just more comfortable being in cover. That may it makes sense if you yes, think about sir. it, but I, it doesn't have to make sense, I guess. I just like being in corners. Communications disrupted. You just head right here. Good copy, moving on target. Right on here, so you can get a nice shot off if needed, if need be. This I mech needs to reload. So let's do that. Maybe mechs just need a lot more kills before they can level up. But I thought they leveled up before when I just had. I don't know. It's really As strange that my mechs aren't leveling up. Reload again. Reloading my weapon. 
and you can go all the way over Falling here. Out. Hopefully you'll be in position to get a shot if it's needed in this general area, because this is the only place they can actually come to kind of damage me. On my way. To Viridian City? No, probably not. Got overexcited there for no reason. Whatever Overwatch it is. This is not an exalt unit. This is just a regular Bring ass medic. Regular, everyday, normal mother medic. Mother medic. Better than my, better than those normal medics, I guess. On the move. Better those than, than those memetic. Memetic? Memetic? I don't know what I'm even talking about. Let's just get behind this brick. Really? No one? Okay. Well, I guess it's time for me to get going. Aye, aye, Commander. Go over here, disable the last relay, and that's the last of the relays, done. Commander. We've got Exalt's data. Now we just need to get the operative to the evac zone. Oh, really? Objective updated. Okay. Well, that's actually fairly Affirmative. easy as well because because my operative can run operative, not operative, can run so goddamn far. So let's get out the sniper rifle and Overwatch. Remember, Overwatch pretty much hits 100% of the time now. And set up like a perimeter all the way in his running range here. You just Overwatch. Lovely. You, I don't even know, get back to the evac point. Pick up the pace. Or get around the evac point. I don't know. Zhang, you don't have a purpose in this mission. You don't even have a porpoise in this I'm mission. It, you get over here and throw a battle scanner nowhere just reload I guess Let's rock. and you get over here and reload Commander. as well there's actually a lot of these data points it's just that only a couple of them were active it would have been better if some of them were decoys I think for this mission would have made things a tiny bit more challenging and let's wait for the exalt unix to Heads just up, pop in from exalt everywhere are moving it to position near strike one. really that's where you're going for that doesn't seem very efficient. Banazma and Shivan take reaction shots, and they both miss? No, Banazma hits. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I could capture him. I could capture him. I think I have to capture him. I know I shouldn't, but I can't make it anyways? Okay. No, I can make it. Let's get behind this cover and try for this. What's that noise all about? Stun. 90% chance. Hope this works. Oh, he killed Those himself. Forcers are willing to resort to such extreme measures to avoid being taken alive? Okay. I'm going to need to resort to extreme I'm measures going. to actually kill this guy back here. 38% chance to hit is not good. And it missed, so I, I guess that shows you how good I am. Adjusting sights. Now, fortunately, these mechs are reloaded, so what I can do Moving is out. go over here and use this whole collateral damage thing. And hopefully with it, I can do damage and blow up a car. Why can't... Oh, I didn't reload. Back okay. in. Next turn if I need to. Overwatch. You could use collateral damage, but I don't think you can reach. I'll try anyways. I will try anyways. And I'll try, and I'll try, and I'll try. I can't get no collateral damage. Yes, I can. This will at least blow up the car. So that's six damage. And then I have a 94% chance of hitting. Lovely. Nice clear shot. Out of the game. Okay, so they kill themselves. That's good to know, and that was an interesting thing Position to figure out, problems. actually. Although, if you were tasered, your chances of actually successfully killing yourself are pretty damn low. You overwatch. You reload. You overwatch. You overwatch. Does everyone overwatch? <laughs> Jesus. I said everyone overwatch. I'm on the move. I almost don't even want to overwatch. I just want to backspace through my turn. 
And Minjul, you run as far as you Double possibly down. can. Look at that run distance. Girl, look at that run distance. I work out when I run through the streets. This is what I see. Okay, so it's three, enter. Two, three, enter. Two, enter. Three, enter. Three, enter. Th two, enter. Lovely. Now run as far as you can. Location run so far control. away, run all night and day. You've got to get away. I think I've killed all the enemies. Oh no, there's one more over there. Lovely. There we go, get some challenge finally. And one on the roof. Good luck with that roof guy. That is not good. That's Take good though. If I do say so myself. Um, let me see. Do I really want to even try to kill this guy? Yeah, probably. Let's see, can I see Enemy him? In sight. From here? Yep, and he is flanked. 85% chance to hit. Lovely, even got a critical on it. I do enjoy being behind heavy cover. Heavy cover. Walking down the street, Got heavy it. cover. Don't know what Commander, to eat. The operative has safely reached the extraction point with the recovered data. We can either stick around and eliminate any remaining hostiles, or move to the evac point and return to HQ. New objective received. To be honest, I should we'll probably just dash behind here. Because then I can go concealed and I can definitely get the kill next turn. I'm pretty sure that is the last remaining operative, so let's just backspace here. Indeed he is. Really? You're overwatching? Ah, I am disappointed in you. So disappointed. Commander, you've secured the operative and the new data they were able to acquire from the relays. Well done. Lovely. And you know, I might as well do all my in-house mission stuff. Just see what's going on. Just taking my time, I'm just moving on. You'll forget about me when I fly around. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. There we go, plus 15 defense while in Overwatch is a great thing to have. Leroy Jenkins also leveled up and I'm going to do the exact same. So apparently they just need a fuck ton more kills and Minjul was promoted. Oh, medkits for steel, four more health. Allows reaction shots during Overwatch and Two, um, ooh. Med kits restore more health, I think. Yeah. I know right now Minjul's not using med kits, but later he will be. Later he will be. Intel decryption completed. Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. Good to know. Alien abductions right now? Jesus, it's a good thing I noticed that, or else I'd be fucked. Hopefully there's one in Asia so I can decrease panic there. France, Australia, Mexico. Okay, there's none in Asia, but that's alright. I can go into France instead, which seems necessary. Could get a heavy captain, which would be nice, but don't really need one, to be honest with you. Japan is where I need a satellite. France, I need panic reduction. United States, I also need one, but that's all right. Alien abductions, I think I'm going to go with France. $200 is nothing to scoff at. Let's take Chavez out of here, clear the hell out of that unit, and now get Minjul back on my team. Two mech troopers online, and my new heavy, my new um, run and gunner is still in my in my base. You can tell I'm getting a bit tired here. I don't even know what time it is. Just making sure it is not time to go to bed. Sorry about the freeze there in the game. <laughs> and about the weird blip there. Down. Kind of strange thing. Begin the assault. Mm, yeah, this is We're the assault. We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction attempts coming in from cities around the world. I am perfectly good with abduc abduction attempts. I'm even perfectly good with um, with terror missions because terror missions actually help me reduce sky. terror. Team is Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. This is actually not 
ideally what I want Understood. to be doing. Moving out. Can conceal and Area see what's over here. Inside. Already found one of the um, meld canisters, which I think I'm just going to go and go ahead and try to try to collect with Benazma. These two can go just up front at the very front, and everyone else can hide behind them for now. I'm, on the move. I'm gonna want to throw a, a what's it called with what's her name with Mick Shooter Mick, Mick Shooterson. McShooterson has to shoot stuff. Moving. It's her job. A battle scanner with McShooterson. Hawkeye McShooterson. That's what I meant to say. I, I know what I'm doing. My throat isn't super sore. It's just supercilious. Don't you have a supercilious throat? Can I get on top of here? Can I get on like the very, very pinnacle rooftop of this area? Maybe. I'd like to retrieve that mel. On my way. And I should be able to retrieve that meld. So let's um, change the direction in which I'm heading and go over Double here jump. instead. Even with Minjul, Minjul still has the ability to capture and to stun enemies. I'm not sure if there's anyone I have yet to capture. Not that I can remember at the, off the top of my head. Just making sure I can get the meld. And way over here with you up. as well. Remember, as long as I keep everyone in that circle, it's kind of like they're behind partial cover. Maybe a bit less than partial cover, but still pretty good. You now, get on top of this roof. They don't even expect people to be able to get on this roof. I've got a visual. Unfortunately, that reveals me, and it reveals me to um, these guys who can no longer see me, which is a good thing. But I can actually get a crit with her. 70% chance to crit, 99% chance to hit. I'm going to take that. And it doesn't kill. Damn. Okay, you. We need a rocket. And it needs to be a good one. Pretty rocket. Walking down the street. Pretty rocket. Don't know it. what this to eat. Should hurt. Okay, got one of them and shredded another one, which was kind of my exact objective there. Now Moving. these guys just need to move a bit forward. I need to save my sniper is pretty much what I'm after right now. 56 and 36. Let's go 56. Actually, let's go collateral damage to start. Right here to destroy the wall and discover. Attacking hostile positions. No ammunition remaining. There we go. Then I just need to hide behind cover here. I really want to kill everybody here, if at all possible. 100% chance and 80% chance. I'm going with the 100, clearly. Crit and killed. Got him. Man, these guys are so good. You wouldn't even yeah. believe how good they are. Excellent. One more shot, 54% chance is not ideal, but I can't really destroy the solid corner of that whole area there. No hay daños en el Alien contacts are withdrawing. Are you? I think he's just going to shoot me, to be honest with you. Yeah, see, see, that seemed more likely than anything else. <laughs> and now Hawkeye is going to have to retreat to combat for the rest of this round. Oh, floaters. Engaging. Actually, you know, the, their positioning is not too bad. I think I can get all of them in a single rocket. Especially now that there's only two. Yeah. No longer a threat. So you, move over here. If I remember, this guy is actually shredded, but one of the floaters has overwatch, Good thing it does not matter since mech units have so much goddamn health. X-rays coming in from the sides. By X-rays you mean me coming in from the sides? Because that seems a lot more likely. No dispongo de munición. Fallo en el sistema de puntería. So I'm going to take this shot here. It's probably going to kill it, and it, it is indeed. I, you can always always tell because of that kill cam, and I should really turn that shit off. You just reload. Back online. You, on the other hand, need to fire 
kind of one of the world's greatest rockets. Why can't I kill either of them? Okay, I can kill one of them and cripple the other's cover. Goodbye. Which is what I'm going to do. Lovely. Zhang has earned another promotion. Minjul, it's your turn. And I think what you need to do is kind of go... What's your chance of hitting right now? 90% chance and you're not flanking in the slightest. If you go here, are you going to get a 100% chance? No, you're going to get 0% chance. So you just overwatch at this point. Okay, that isn't exactly what I was expecting the overwatch to pick up. Okay. Did manage to get the floater, but there are two more of these fucking mutons hanging out. Fortunately, they all run for the cover that does not really exist. And I think it's Benazma's time to maybe go for... Is this full cover still, or did I make it turn it into partial cover by killing it? It's still full cover. So he gets to be stealthed and go for the next little bit of... Alien object inside. Yeah, meld. That meld is super valuable now. You actually have to reload, but I want you to move closer to these two. Or to my other units. Just so that you can provide them with some cover. Reload, reload, reload. It's loading. Headed there now. It rides across the nation, the reload of sins. It got the application that you just sent in. It needs more than 64% chance to hit. I'm going to take it anyways because, you know, it's better than nothing. But it missed. Again, I don't think um, this game good. understands numbers over 50. And that really, it should, um, ah, whatever. I'm on the move. move back here with Minjul. Collect hand, and throw a smoke grenade over here to just cover anyone I can. Yeah, can't even. So just Overwatch. You now. Overwatch also. Overwatch as well. You get extra defense, and 15 defense plus 10 defense equals 25 defense, which I'm pretty sure equals full cover. Not to mention you get this lovely reaction shot against a muton. My throat is getting sore. I'm going to need some honey by the time I wake up today. By the time I wake up. By the time I should be waking up. Come on, second mutoid. I'm sure you can do it. Zang takes a reaction shot this time. And finally, a reaction shot hits. That happens so rarely these days. I thought it didn't, um, it wasn't actually a thing anymore in this game. Oh, don't damage. Don't damage McTank Face. McTank Face is my favorite. It's pretty much the most favoritest McTank, McTank Face of my life. As long as I just sprint between full cover, nothing can reveal me. So, I'm perfectly fine with how I am. I can punch this Muton for enough damage to kill it. Affirmative, Commander. So, that is what I'm going to do. Kinetic strike. Yes. Ready to engage. Perfect. And then you have a shot, but it's not very good. You probably are going to have a considerably better shot, especially if I use collateral damage. 35%. Hmm, not great. Collateral damage on this right here. Let's try that instead. 75% chance. Lovely! And I get 100% chance to hit the cyber disc, even though it's way in the distance. I'm going to go for the crit, see if I can do a bit more damage at it. No, just the 6. Oh well. It entered Overwatch in panic. I like that. It's like, what, what? Overwatch? Okay. I can deal with that. You go all the way to this meld canister and completely ignore this thing. Revealed? Why are you revealed? 
I ran you to full cover. Got a lot of um, on me. this is pretty bad. All things considered, I do not think that I should be revealed right now. Overwatch, I guess, is all I can really do. Take fire over here. That should not have missed, and Benazma is now super lucky, like the luckiest person in this game. Or maybe he could be seen from his starting position, and that's why? I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. All that makes sense to me is shooting oh and God. killing and destruction and rampage and pretty much anything that is destructive. Anything at all. Tanks. Tanks make sense to me. Make sense to me. Almost make sense to me. Ammo. Almost out of ammo. Hmm. Location you need to get behind cover. And you need to gotcha. collect this and then... I don't know. Not die, I guess would be the ideal. Yeah, yeah. So let's do a quick reload here. Nobody is getting the bonus of all this cover that that Mc, McTank Brain is providing. Yeah. Which I guess is all right. Moving to designated position. I do get another shot with her, and it's a hundred percent chance, so I might as well take it. Did I just Overwatch? I just Overwatched. Moving. And let's hunker down to avoid taking more damage here. I did get the meld. Yes. Okay. Good. That was a bad turn. Overall, I'd say that was a really bad turn. I'm still behind cover, officially speaking? You're not even shooting at him? Oh. I am perfectly fine with that. And these things are after the heals. And I have an 86% chance of hitting this for up to 7 damage. 100% chance of a critical. I'm going to take it. Oh, 12 damage in one hit. Why do I feel so good about that? Don't answer that question. I know exactly why I feel so good about that. Moving to position. It's because it's something that makes a lot of sense to feel good about. I'm gonna have to reload here instead of actually doing damage, which I don't like. Then yes, again, commander. I can do decent damage with Min Duel right off the bat. 100% chance to hit, up to 6 damage. 6 damage done. Let 6 damage be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'll give us this day opinion. our daily 6 damage and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who do 6 damage against us. <laughs> I don't know. That was actually incredibly lucky. If I had not killed it there, Commander, I might have had be people dying. If we attempted to retrieve those canisters rather than destroying them. I can't retrieve them yet. I don't have the tech to do so. Whatever, you Overwatch. And you just go as far forward Already as possible there. and get under half cover. Half cover counts as full cover for her because she is promoted to shit. Ow. Kind of hurt. Stop that. I don't like that. Is Out that the last the enemy? Game. Chuck up another one. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's love. It rides across the nation. The loveliness of sin. The loveliness of sin. I like that a lot. Colonel, two rockets. Okay, I like that. Mayhem confers additional damage based on weapon tech level to suppression and all area of effect abilities. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I'm going mayhem actually. I know it sounds weird, the double rockets is really useful, but I, I can't help myself. Not like yesterday. Remember, 
We will be watching. So if I go to Mission Control now, panic is going to break out in the United States and also in Mexico and in Australia. Which is not good, but I have a satellite done today and some more satellites done very shortly and a satellite uplink done in four days. So let's start scanning. Access left operational. So sign some new construction here. Or go to the First foundry. First time in the foundry? It's not the prettiest. But some of our more interesting projects will certainly benefit from the adjustments made down here. Scope upgrade is quite good. Heavy weapons platform I don't need. Alien grenades I don't need. Improved med kit might be good. Drone capture I need more drone wrecks. Ammo conservation I really like. What's this? After a thorough examination we've been able to articulate the joints of mechtoid allowing mobility improvements in both our cyber suits and shiv units. I don't know what that means. So I guess I'm going to go with ammo conservation because that helps everybody. Yeah. I'll send word to and the then I'm going to go now. to the found or to build facilities from the project queue in engineering. and excavate here. That's really expensive, so I'm not going to excavate more than that. I just want another generator possibly underneath here soon. I'm running out of power already. And what I'm going to need is another satellite uplink. But I need f only five power for it. That's not bad, actually. That is not bad at all. Workshop, I don't need an extra. Thermo generator, foundry, I have plenty of room to build. What else do I need, though? Nothing, really. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Let's keep wasting time. Infusing the bone marrow with meld will allow our soldiers to regenerate combat wounds while on the battlefield. Oh, she's doing it as the upgrades are finished. I see. Contact detected. Large UFO over China. I unfortunately have to ignore it. I have a lot of satellites finishing really soon. Oh, it's a landing Contact site. Detected. I can actually do that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry for being a bit quiet, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.